Hello and welcome to CNT Collectibles. I am T and I am C. And I am taking over his job today. <laughs> I've been replaced. So this is our three up and three down where we check out um market cap in baseball this week. Yeah, who are the top three risers and who are the top three fallers in baseball card land? And we are gonna start off There's your cheat sheet. Um with the number three follow father father number, number three father all right i'm moving down i, I got uh, replaced number three follower <laughs> roberto clemente so you see here he um has gone up pretty well but now he's just sliding down that hill yeah we're looking at the last and now he's week at 2100 so. and he was from 3000 to um, let's look at the long term in the long term so what would you do with that I would not buy it. I would wait for it to go down some more, but that's probably not going to happen. It might go up again, but it could go down again. Right. We had a couple of sales that really pushed it, and what we always tell people is don't buy those because it's easy for sellers to come in, and if there's too many sellers and not enough buyers, then yeah. what happens to the price? The it person, goes... The person, it, the person who bought it right here, um, he was not lucky. Cause, <laughs> no, not oh, at all. Got right down there. That person was lucky right there because he could go all the way up and sell it could about, i don't know if it gets back like, up there there weren't a lot of people willing to buy up at that area so that's that's what we look for but you can see look at that peak back in look at that first big peak that first one right, right there now draw a straight line over that's not a very straight line but see you, there, there there's a lot of support in that area here so the price has returned to an area where you could probably start looking at this card um, but yeah, as far as rushing back up to the top, there weren't a lot of people willing to do that in the first place. So here you are. All right. Um, do you know how to go to the next, the next card? Uh, no, if you I go to that tab up there and click on the next tab over oh. one, one more, one more. There you go. That one. <laughs> Perfect. So our number three is Derek Jita. Yeah. He is the, um, number three riser for the week. Very good. Um, so not too much right here. It goes down a little, but then it goes up and down and up. A big up, it looks like. So he's yeah. up. How up? How far? Uh, how far up is he in the last 56 week? Fifty-six to one twenty-five. He's up um, ninety-nine percent. That's a pretty. Week. That's a good week. Mm-hmm. Uh, switch it out to the long term. The so long we'll see. term is. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, but that person. Was not lucky. It could go down just like the Roberto Clemente. Is that the PSA eight? Wow, that's crazy. The so PSA 8. yeah, big shock. I don't know what the news was on Jeter this week, but I would expect that uh, that price is not uh, not sustainable. What do you think? I do not think it's sustainable either. Okay. okay Barry Bonds. What happened to Mr. Bonds this week? Um, he is down forty eight percent. The number two faller. Okay. It's it's a great going up. Everybody, <laughs> it looks like everybody's. Did he take oh, more steroids or something? What happened? I do not know. Oh, all right. <laughs> so it's it's from about 388 to 725, and then it just goes down again. So that's a big move. Just a big hill. Yeah, kind of back to where he started a few weeks ago. And the long term is. Whoa! Wow, down up. What yeah. happened? Well, he's kind of back and to where he was up there. And down. That, so, 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 so here's him starting this career. Oh yeah, now <laughs> now taking drugs. Oh, oh geez, no, no, no. He was. I think he was almost retired by the time this started. But that and big spike up, did, and so this is what he we did take drugs though. Well, he probably did. Um, that big spike up is what we uh, we like. That's why we like to avoid them because they usually come back really quickly. So when we see those big spikes, we usually say sell those because uh, more often than not they come back. And you can see that is the case in uh, Mr. Bonds Bonds's yeah. instance as well. So. So that was not too good. No, not at all. All right. Uh, the next one is the Sepia Fernando Tatis Jr. And he is um. He is uh the number what? Number two riser. Number two riser. Number two riser. He's up. Uh, he's up nice. A team. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. So what is he up for the week? Um, he is up. Um, one hundred eleven percent. Oh, all right. So it's, it's just two hills. One he's, hill, and then bam. Looks like down. it's still trading on the uh, the news of his big contract. I'm pretty sure he hasn't done anything in baseball yet this this uh, and here's this week. Long term. But... From about let's see, nineteen dollars 
to 316. That's a decent increase. And, um, the one that you gave me, you bought it at, like, what? Pack. Out of a pack. Whatever a pack costs. That's where and we get then, our tatises. Um, that one you probably have is maybe somewhere around here. I'm yeah, sure. so one, one sale okay. brought it up to that yeah. high, so you to, to, to see a few people come in and sell is probably maybe not unusual. One, about $150 to 350 but then it goes down to 316 Yeah. Craziness. Then, All right. So the next player is... Our number one faller for the week. Is this is... Hank Aaron. This is mean. <laughs> I mean... I mean, we, we know why he made the news and had a big spike, but now you're now you're selling guys? Come on, I'm disappointed, so... <laughs> selling guys like this? Exactly. This is one of the most famous cards ever, or one of the most... It really best. is. What um, did his card do this week? Um, his is down... Minus, um... 50? 50%, yeah. I apologize, that. you have to read my writing. No fair. Bad handwriting. It is bad handwriting. I know, that's why I'm saying no fair. So, alright, how are we doing in the long term so, on that card? A lot of sideways, it looks like. Yeah, just some hills. But the long term... <laughs> People don't know yeah. quite what to do with them here. I mean, it's Hank Aaron. He, yeah. He, he's, like... Some people say the best player in baseball. Some people right. say the second best. I would, I would, uh, I would still call him the home run king at and least. He also. It looks like he's at a he, level he where people just, could buy it he at. He also though. just passed away like two weeks. So well, that's that, that's why you saw the big spikes in his cards. And so, you know, whenever you're in the news, you're looking for relevance in cards, newsworthy or Hall of Fame worthy, and he had both. And so there was a big spike, but you could see the volatility, and now it came back to a level where it's probably worth uh, worth checking out again. So. But 54 all tops. Time is yep. Almost Michael Jordan, but it doesn't exactly <laughs> get up to the 30,000 like way up here. Not right? quite, not it's quite. It's only up to like the the highest it's ever gone was, let's see, 8,600. 8, yeah, that's a pretty good number still. Okay, all right, number one riser the, for the week. The number one riser is Fernando Tatis Jr. And why is he on the White Sox? When I first saw that White Sox thing, um, right, well, I thought it was Lou Bob because it kind of looks like Lou Bob right there. He was traded for James Shields. Uh, the White Sox needed some pitching, and so they sent Tatis over for to the Padres for James Shields. Well, that didn't work out for that. I would but say... But it also did, because I got Lou Bob, Eloy... I, I would say... Right. I would say, you know, looking back on it, it wasn't the greatest move, but at the time, it made sense for the Sox. They needed a major league ready guy, and but look, that's takes, what they did. It just takes one sale from 1200 to... There aren't... To, a... um, twenty-nine. Yeah, there aren't a lot of these that come up for sale, probably, so scan out to the full thing. And, um... And you can see that, long term is, yeah, so you can see there's not a lot of selling and buying going on at this point, right? and that's probably too much, too you quick. Straight up. Yeah, so one person can really kind of mess this up. And... So here it goes from 1,200, which is, wow. Right. And then it just goes down, and then up, 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 and then bam. Bam. <laughs> so, yeah. That's uh, that's a big move, and I would expect to see that one come back at some point. So that's a little too and much, too quick. But up, who knows? Maybe other people find that you know feel that that that's the price. He is up one hundred thirty percent, thirty-seven percent. That's a big number. Week. Big number here. So all right, a couple tatises to uh, to still on the leaderboard. So that big contract that news isn't wearing off just yet. So he is uh, still on fire. And this is only the PSA nine. Yeah, right, right. Well, like, that's, that's still a mint. That's still would, a mint. I would, I would expect the PSA 10 to be at like 2900 Oh, whatever, whatever, uh, what, what's that price right now? Um, $3,975. So call it 3000 and triple it? Nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for a PSA 10? Probably. Wow. I know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of cheddar. So, all right, there's three up and three down. Tom, I think you did a terrific job. Nah, you did great. So thank you for uh, for helping me out. And <laughs> thank you for watching. And hope you have a great rest of the evening. Bye. Bye.